What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz. Uh, so I got absolutely uh, boned by uh, another seller at a house. <sighs> Just uh, got some news yesterday, late, late yesterday. Um, so I'll get into that a little bit. NFTs, crypto, the staple center. What the what are y'all doing, man? It's uh that is a scary crazy world right now. Um I don't I'm not a financial advisor. I'm gonna get into that a little bit, talking a little bit about crypto. Um some of the some people and stuff I have seen and kinda of recommend you guys watching. It's uh I don't know. I don't it's it's crazy. It's absolutely wild. So I'll get into it in a minute. But anyways, I'm going to jump into my house thing. Yesterday, rolling down the road in the mobile office, get a call. Hey, we got a verbal acceptance. These people are going to be signing. You're going to get the house. He said, basically, nine times out of ten, it's a done deal. But not always. Something could come up. Anyways, we get the written acceptance later in the evening for the house saying hey you guys can buy the house but but there's always a but we are not going to sell you the house unless we find a house so that's something you're always supposed to put up front in your disclosures because that's a huge deal i am not going to buy your house buy and wait for you to find a house that i've been struggling to find a house for two plus months and i'm still struggling and you think you're gonna find one in 45 days and if not you walk and i sit and waited a month and a half are you absolutely out of your mind who in the right mind would ever do that who? Nobody. You lit I literally would be tied to a contract for a year, a month and a half. The only thing I could do, or actually I couldn't do anything. I'd, I'm pretty much tied to a contract. Can't. I should not be looking at other houses during this time. So I'm going to waste a month and a half, two months for you to close on a house so I can buy your house. Good luck selling your house. I instantly backed out, done, gone. On to the next one. Going to start looking at houses. Literally the biggest deal breaker that could have come up. And I thought earlier in the day that I had a done deal. I uh, have had things like that come up in Pokemon selling. Where, I don't know, just can't come to terms at the end. Like, we agree on a price. And then they want it shipped this way. I'm like, dude, that's going to cost me like 50 bucks to ship it international with insurance. Or something like that. And they're like, no, oh, well, you're going to eat it. I'm like, well, I usually ship first class. That's what my prices were. It's the, We never closed the negotiation, really. So, good luck. On to the next one. So, I don't know. I was, pr I was pretty peeved, peeved yesterday. Uh, after getting that news, that was pretty unfortunate. Beautiful house. Would have been amazing. Nice little office for me there. But, uh. This is going to be a never-ending battle. I don't. I honestly might might have to wait until spring, but I'm not going to wait. We're just going to keep looking until then. But there ain't nothing out there right now that I'm looking that I can see, and it's pretty miserable. So, um, that's that. I hopefully I'll have a house here in the next 20 years. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll be stuck in this basement. I'll probably have to finish it. Give us some more floor plan. Um, probably the play right now at this rate, but, um, yeah, gonna keep searching, keep looking, go on from there. But, uh, NFTs, crypto, Staples Center, how are they related? So recent news came out, the Staples Center where the LA Lakers play, I was going to say Pistons, the LA Lakers play there, uh, Kobe spent tons and tons of time there. 
going to change the name of the building to Crypto.com Arena. This is absolutely insane. It is such a pump. It's almost appearing to be a pyramid scheme now at this rate. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, my personal opinions, and I would love to talk and debate with anybody about it. That'd be a great time. But man, just the way anything I hear about crypto, NFTs, it's always somebody pumping it. And now it's on the Staples Center, one of the most iconic buildings, just because all the championships have been won there. It's going to be on it. And I made a, a fun joke on Instagram saying, might as well call it gambling.com arena. Which is basically the same thing. Um, you're putting money into something that you hope goes up. In, in value and not down and our good friend Logan Paul had a really good podcast that just dropped 20 hours ago yesterday um, with a gentleman named Peter Schiff and this gentleman who I've never heard of um, is my spirit animal animal and I was surprised Logan dropped this podcast because he is such a big Bitcoin NFT pusher pumper He's a, such a big pusher and pumper, and even in this podcast, two-hour-long podcast, but worth a listen, um, in the podcast, he says he's not the biggest wealth of knowledge, and I, I see a huge problem with that because I know he has millions in this jank. So, what are you doing? He Like, the guy asked him a question, and he, he responded, he's like, man, I don't have the best thing, like, I don't have, I'm not there, I, I don't have it all, I'm not. You need to have it all, I would say, to dump that kind of money, or you're just chasing Gary V again, but because that's exactly what's happening. Um, yeah, it's it's literally smelling like a pyramid scheme. Everything's pump, everything's pump, everything's pump. It could crash. It crashed several times, went from twenty k down to three k. So are you ready to lose thousands of dollars potentially? Um, it's We need to watch this podcast. This guy, Peter, says it better than anybody I've ever seen it in my life. Why crypto is not the answer. Um, and it's possibility to get wrecked hard. Um, the government, um, it not being tangible gold type thing. Um, <laughs> even Pokemon. I can hold a Pokemon card. This is a tangible asset fungible has a value it's something i hold in my hand where bitcoin is literally the value of bitcoin goes up as more people get in the demand is increasing the so the supply decreases well and then the price goes up but you're not, it's basically worth what somebody else is willing to pay for it. There's not a physicalness to it at all. So when people accept payment, generally with crypto, like heritage auctions, they accept it and sell it for cash instantly because they have no want or need to gamble. Facts. They said that that's what that's what they do. It's literally gambling, holding crypto. It's a cool way to buy and sell things on a fly because people are valuing it so high. It's it has a, a value, but I would never hold over two thousand dollars. That would scare the crap out of me that it could go to zero. If the government makes a release like this guy, Peter, said that you're literally a terrorist because you're using cryptocurrencies and avoiding taxes, which is a big part of it for sure. Um, 
it could they could the hammer could come down they could tax it really hard make it not worth your time transacting with crypto and you might as well go back to cash and pay taxes on cash so it's going to be a ride i don't know i highly highly recommend it here's a i don't know if you i'm going to see if you can make a little click button but you need to watch this podcast from when logan um but this guy peter went in on him um and logan didn't have a lot of answers he at all all the answers i would suspect is just well these people want to i can go buy a lamborghini with it well yeah the guy's going to take it and then sell it get rid of it for cash right there on the spot for what it's worth um they're not going to sit and hold it at all it's gambling so let me know how you feel are you buying crypto or are you like me and you just want to stand back like people are making money lots and lots of people have lost lots and lots of money lots of it nfts are the same there's a new one being made by dfw pokemon it was only a matter of time because everyone and their grandmother are making them um everyone has a nft everyone and it's not going to get any better. It's going to get flooded and more flooded. The prices of these NFTs in this DFW, for example, will depend on how many people join the Discord and how many people buy in. They're going to set an original value at, even if it's 50 cents per piece and they make 200 of them. There's 600 people in the Discord. Not everybody's going to get one. Price is going to go up. They're literally useless. They're creating a false sense of demand by limiting the number of copies minted. Not saying DFW is doing that because they haven't even, I don't even think, released it, but that's down the road. Um, but I just use them as a quick example for another company, somebody making an NFT. Um, I don't know. I think... Uh, NFTs are a huge scam, huge, and I would rather put my money into something way, way less risky, like the S&P 500, something like that, where it gains a steady what, 7% annually, which is, on average, crazy amount compared to keeping it in your checking account and you're gaining a .0001% interest. Just stay smart. And do your research before you're dropping money. Don't buy a new NFT. Don't buy an NFT. Honest. If you need consulting advice, consult with somebody. But man, they are not recommended, in my opinion. It is uh, not a business I would be playing with at all. I'm going to leave y'all with that. I uh, got wrecked, lost my house. Don't buy NFTs. I don't have any. I don't have any crypto. I have stock in Ford. Nineteen dollars a share. Used to be seven dollars. Peace. <laughs>